So, looky what I got. This has been a long time coming. And as you guessed by the title, that's an Asus 2 ejection seat for the F-15. And I've been waiting to unbox this thing on camera, and it's been killing me. So I'm just going to get right to it. It's a shame to break all that tape, but it is what it is, right? Really, the only time in history of the internet that an ACES 2 ejection seat has been unboxed on, on video. <laughs> it's got to be worth something, right? That screw is going to be kind of hard to find, I think. The tape was a bit much, and FedEx did not treat this thing very well because a lot of this wood's broke. But it could have been worse. They could have used UPS. And I gotta be careful because there's real decals wrapped in here, it looks like. So how in the hell am I gonna do this? Very carefully, I suspect. Okay, well there's, oh, that's a, is that a magnet? It looks like a magnet. Kind of blown out lighting, but well, that's kind of neat. I'm sure the FedEx people didn't really appreciate that going, what in the hell is inside this thing? Looks like another magnet. There we go, yeah. It is this other magnet. And it feels vinyl cut too. Is that? Okay, looks like another magnetic sign, which is, that's very cool. That is very cool. So much tape, so much tape. Can I just lift this off? No. Seat is being revealed slowly but surely, right? Now I got tape stuck to my feet. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Ta da! That looks super cool, doesn't it? Let's get some of these straps off of it. This is really neat. I mean, you know I gotta sit in the damn thing, right? 
What is there? There is a hornet on my damn seat. This is not a spot for F-18s. Jerk. Huh. That's kind of cool. It looks like the handles have been pulled and they locked up at one point. The seat pan is there. Okay, got to sit in it. Ah. Wow, that's incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> But who cares? It's an ejection seat, man. And it looks like this handle's broke. That's okay. It's kind of an odd little seat because there's features missing from it that would normally be present. And I'm not sure why. Like there's a lever here missing. There's features on the side that are missing. Yet it's got the bottle and there's other stuff. I don't know. There has got to be a data plate on this thing somewhere that will tell me what's going on. It does not appear to be a serviced or an in-service uh, ejection seat. So it may have been some kind of training device. This I'm not gonna mess with because that drogue chute's packed in there and I do not want to, to mess that up. Yeah, I'm not gonna reset that, that's there. Okay, I got some more screws I have to pull out of here. And then I will get the little camera and we can take a tour of this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and Yeah, I mean, it's got so much, it screams I'm a real seat, yet there's other pieces that say I'm not. So, I'm not sure what I'm looking at, and that's okay. So, I'm going to grab the little camera, and uh, that's wood. That's interesting. Oh, well, look at that. I had no idea that would happen. I mean, I knew this was replaceable but I had no idea it was stuck on with Velcro. That's cool. Okay. Well, something tells me I gotta talk to some people about that. Find out what the deal is exactly. Okay, so yeah, let's grab the small camera. Okay, here we are. It's interesting that the piece that the pitot tubes are going into is made out of wood. And the head box looks legit. But then we get down in here and all of this stuff, I mean, the, the strapping is real. And it looks like, is that an inertia reel or something? I don't know. It looks like a pneumatic fitting of some kind. December of 1984. Huh, okay. Some interesting, interesting going on. So I've got to compare all this stuff to the drawings and things that I have for doing maintenance on these seats. I've got a 
effectively a maintenance manual for the ACES 2 ejection seat for the F16, F18, or not F18, F16, F15, and A10 variants. And then you can see here, this is where this handle is, is broken off. And by the shape of that handle, I'm wondering if this wasn't originally an A10 variant. Because there is a handle difference between the A10 and the and the, uh, the F15. Okay, now the cool part is, other than the fact that, well, it's a real ejection seat, um, is that a number of years ago, I got a box of parts for an ejection seat that I just kind of scrolled away. I tend to do that a lot with F15 bits. Let's go through that box real quick. Okay, stuff in the box. I have, okay, yeah, interesting things. So this is a canopy breaker for the F15 version of the seat. And this thing bolts in up top here and sits something like that or real close to it okay um, I've got an oxygen bottle another one there's one on it already um, that I don't think is an f15 part or is a asus 2 part no, this is a caution light logic unit. If you were wondering what that looks like. Um, miscellaneous bracketry. For I have no idea what for. It might be this bracket here. Um, There's two. I didn't think there were two. <laughs> so the the problem that I had with the uh, the handles being the wrong shape, well, that problem kind of solved itself because if I can get into the package, I have. Eventually, come on. The correct handles for the F-15. And those don't even look like they were ever in service. If they were, they were painted and cleaned up. Now that's a... I have a left and a right. So that's cool. I have an extra arming handle. Uh, more belts, it looks like. And other miscellaneous bits and pieces. But that is pretty much it for my spare Aces 2 parts. So there we have it. I have another restoration project in my hands. And it looks like my camera stopped. And I don't know why my camera stopped. So the movie recording has been, um, I don't know where it cut, but anyway, this is the Asus 2. Um, I have a lot of work yet to do to it, but I'm gonna put it, to see, and I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna see what I can't do about investigating what the deal is with the handles to get those reset. Um, and then I'm gonna spend some quality time with an ACES 2 maintenance manual. And uh, we'll get this thing cleaned up. And I've got to get my hands on some sheepskin seat covers or seat cushions for it. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.